Hello folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play series. I'm your host, the Game Darius, and this time we're playing Castlevania, Curse of Darkness. Now yes, this was another one of those eager games that was on the PS2, and honestly, I think it's a little underrated, because it is a pretty damn solid Castlevania game, much in the same sort of vein as Circle of the Moon, a Lament of Mi Lament of Innocence, pretty much any of the 2D side-scrolling ones where you're adventuring and searching around things and whatnot, and killing bosses, and it's cool, it's good. I played through before a good 80% and then I forgot where I was and I got stuck and I didn't know where to go, so let's see about uh, beating it this time. Uh, yes, my name is correct. Actually, my name's Darius, but regardless. I actually did try to record this previously. Um, my sound got borked. It's always the sound. I don't know why it's always my sound, like it's really screwed over. But this also has really, really, really pretty... Uh, videos. Yes. Fully rendered, I think. I don't know. 1476, Relatia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to prevail, out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true-blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula, a truly glorious victory for all. However, the Evil One did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity, while the land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula, and the invocation of Dracula's curse. Just gonna say, sounds a whole lot like 2016, doesn't it? Show yourself, Isaac! I know you're here! Hector! Is that you? I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down. <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not! I've come to exact my revenge upon you, for the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. And now you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula is gone, but his powers are still here in Valacia. Even you must realize. Devil forging. Indeed, with this the most forbidden of arts, a wisp of conjured matter can be transformed into a hellish devil. There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. <laughs> yes, to our lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it. Ah, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice. Without it, I could crush you in an instant. But that wouldn't be very 
Satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil forging, you cannot hope to pursue me. That is why you will reclaim your powers, and thence follow where I lead you. <laughs> but, in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Isaac! Damn him. So be it. I must descend into darkness and reclaim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are! Which is best served cold, which is perfect for Europe. So, now we're at the abandoned castle. Castle, if you want to try to go stupid French. Because the L's before the E and whatnot. Anyways, so, yeah, this was released back in 2006 under Iga's, you know, reign of awesome. Because Iga's an awesome individual when it comes to game making. God, I cannot wait for his freaking bloodstained game. Ow. <laughs> now that I remember the controls, I have a better chance against this guy. You got the jump button, which is X. You got the attacky button, which is square. You got, uh, you can combo with the circle button, which is like square X, or square circle, so that. Square, square, circle, which is that awesome move. Square, 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 circle, which is that awesome move. Square, 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 square. Yeah, that's about it. Memorial ticket, or it's the last registered save point, which is what this beautiful individual of a room is. I don't quite know why the hell these save rooms are quite literally just giant thrones with wings that, you know, slowly wrap around you when you go confirm that, yes, you want to save. But hey, looks good. Looks good. And now, we shall explore the castle. Much in a good lot of uh, newer Castlevania ways, this game is very much a exploratory, levelly up -y, Killy everything you see in kind of game. Skeletons? They're increasing my XP. And I need 13 more XP to level up. And of course, these drop coins and hearts. Well, they'll drop hearts in a bit. You'll see why they drop hearts in a bit. But regardless, they will drop hearts. Don't quite understand why these things drop hearts beyond the idea of game logic. But hey, they drop hearts. Ooh, maybe someone's got a flaming heart of passion and Dracula has been using them for all these, you know, light sources. Alright. Tip, skill, quick step. Guard button, left analog stick, and jump. The quick step is a very quick evasive move. While performing the quick step, Hector will be invulnerable. Using the quick step to deftly use the quick step to deftly evade your enemies. Ha! 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 That was bronze! Because there is also a weapon crafting element in this game, as well as... Oh! Well, that was the Rosario. The Rosario instantaneously kills everything that's in the room. Whether or not you see it. Which is cool and all, but I, I kind of I kind of like the doom of the fighting. The dog dropped a hot dog. The dog dropped a hot dog. I'm sorry, I'm totally used to it dropping uh, a crafting material called Wild Memory. Uh, there are several different weapon types in this game. If you know me, I will probably 
You know that I'll probably go for the big sword type weapon. The slow, steady, but very hard hitting weapons that are the big swords. Or axes. Can't tell yet. There's also other things in this game that will dictate when I'll use certain weapons. Ah. Ooh, more bronze. Now, I believe I will be keeping uh, grinding for materials and leveling up stuff off camera. Because I don't know how entertaining that can possibly be. I will probably record some more difficult ones simply because uh, <laughs> some of the methods of getting them are stupid ridiculously hard. Like I said, I probably beat a good 80% of this game before in the past, but when it came to actually beating the game, I would stopped playing it for a little bit and lost where I was, blah blah blah. You guys know how it goes. Your typical exploration RPG fair where you stopped playing for a bit and then, you know, tried to go back the way you came and whatnot. No, it didn't work. Bandit Castle map. Now, when I press select, I get a map, but that gives me a bunch of grayed out areas so I can be all, oh hey, I need to go this way next. I mean, not that it wouldn't be too hard to tell which way you need to go if you're paying attention. Damn, that's a cool freaking uh, pose right there. Really need to get more poses like that. Yeah, not a whole lot more damage. Leveling up does very little besides increase your health and probably your hearts. No wait, hearts are dependent on another thing. Ignore that. Well, I'd say ignore it, but uh, it's going to be shown what they do exactly in just the tiniest of bits of a second. So, oh, oh geez. Ow. Okay. This guy's big. It's a good thing I got that there dodge ability. Hey, stop wandering around and let me kill you uh, again, because there's skeletons. Goddamn undead. Why do undead have to be undead? Royal pains my- Really? The last enemy gets the Rosario. Sealed by an unknown power, Hector cannot open it with his strength alone. I don't know, he seems like a pretty burly guy. But that might just be me. I can't tell people's strength by looking at them. This unearthly power, is it coming from that tombstone? <laughs> How conscientious of him. He carved the instructions into stone along with the most difficult visualization. So, that's how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release him with the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living. Immaculate being, appear before me now! And now I got Puck from Berserk. Great. Devil forging, isn't it? Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Zed. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other Devil Forge master, are you not? The one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. I see. Very well. 
I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. I don't think we can trust that Zed guy. He reminds me too much of Patches. And if you guys have watched my Dark Souls Let's Plays, you know how I feel about Patches. Innocent Devils. I'm not calling this guy Vivi. I'm calling him... Puck. And as this is the second time I'm trying to record this... Do I not get a space? Can I not space? Damn it. I was going to go Puck the... Puck I I, but eh, just Puck. Innocent Devils are... Blah, 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 blah. This pretty much just tells you about Innocent Devils. They use hard size energies and health. When they are damaged or use a special ability, the heart energy will decrease. They're, they increase your stats depending on what brand of Innocent Devil that they are and how strong they are. If they lose all their hearts, they will revert to soul form. They cannot die. They level up with experience points, just like Hector does. Uh, they will both gain a, both gain experience at the same time. And this is the fairy type innocent devil. They have ability to open up treasure chests, just like the one that's right outside the door. And they can restore HP or heal at status ailments. So I can control whether or not it's full on auto, or I can command it. And then if I had additional abilities, I could swap around them with the right and left buttons on my di directional pad and command it to do stuff with the triangle button. And now, I get a dragon quest. Quest, not quest. That's, that's a game. It's a game, you dope. I can put it into something somewhere. Yes. Now, in combat, this little guy is not that helpful, save for healing. I mean, t healing is stupid helpful, but at the same time, he doesn't help do damage. There's various other kinds of innocent devils. A bruiser type, a bird. I think there's one that's a straight up mage. Which makes sense because that's where... He's the Meiji one is actually one of the cooler ones, simply because he is, you know, freaking mage. Shoots off fireballs or lightning bolts. There we go. That guy's dead. I was kind of hoping for another hot dog. Uh, probably go back to the first save point there. Because that one is a nice one. I say it's a nice one, but I think I just wanted to, to get back closer to the beginning of where I started. Beginning of where I started. Yes, those were words. I really do love the music of this one, too. Like, I don't really remember Lament of Innocence music much, but this one... Yeah, this one I can dig. Another Rosario? Really, game? Really? Always the last enemy. Always. I mean, maybe I could have, like, moved over here and had those ones spawn, so I could... No, shut up. So... I wonder if that ogre... The, uh, Cyclops, the one with the club, is going to spawn back in this room? It wasn't this one. Never mind. I also kind of wanted to mostly level up some more, because I do love leveling up. But yeah, so you can see, let's see, summon, puck, um, where's the information on him? There he is. So he grants me one luck, and eat is a interesting thing. When we get the ability to, we can equip different weaponry. Different weaponry types will provide different sorts of bonuses. Or, not bonuses, but rather, different experience, additional experience, ED experience, weapon experience. I'm just going to call it weapon experience. Whereas, Puck then absorbs that into his bean and he will change into a different form based on the ver variety with which of weapon experience that I have him eat. Which is gotten, sorry. 
which is gotten by using different weapons against the enemies. But the only problem I have with it is like it appears way too randomly. It could appear all the freaking time in one little mob area, or it could hardly appear at all. Okay, there's the save room again. I am glad I remembered which way I had to go when I first tried recording this. Because this would have been arduous. Did I go this way? Yes, it is this way. Derp. Now I'll hit the save point and call it an episode here because this seems like an alright stopping point. Not all the tutorial y stuff is done just yet, but it'll get done in a bit. I think. Pretty much the tutorial least stuff will be done once all of these question marks are filled in. Which I think is all covered by the end of this abandoned castle area. If it's not, well, tough ditties. So I'm gonna go ahead, save. Cause this is a majestic looking chair. And then I'm gonna call it an episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. It has been a long ass pimp time since I played this game. I've been really meaning to get back into it, finish it for good, and actually play it. And it seems that it keeps time of all the time I'm actually playing, not the time I'm in the cutscenes. Okay, that's going to get a little confusing. But in any case, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.